What was the difference between what they were doing successfully in the first half compared to how you guys responded? Um, yeah, you know, just coming out in the second half, we had a mindset that we was going to dominate, just like we did in the first half, man. They made a few plays. That's what good teams going to do. Tennessee also was, you know, a great team. Can't take nothing away from them. But we just buckled down and did what we were supposed to do, what we practiced to do, and uh, play ball. On the interception that you got, what did you see on that play? Um, you know, I just, you know, I was going to the middle of the field, seeing the quarterback staring him down. Went down, you know, instincts went over and uh, picked the ball off. Maurer was the quarterback that fans hadn't seen. I hadn't seen him before. I didn't know what to expect from him. How much of what you guys saw today was a surprise? Um, not much of a surprise. We knew we could get a lot of, you know, all three quarterbacks in the rotation being able to uh, play because all three of them were great players uh, that were able to control the team and play ball, Gertano, um, you know, 18, and then, you know, the freshman. So we, you know, we always we knew what we, what we was going into. We it wasn't no surprise to us. We just, you know, lined up and played our defense. What do you think it says about you that you responded after getting kind of – I don't want to say hit in the mouth, but challenged a little bit in the beginning of the game, and you responded. What does that say about your team? Oh, yeah, definitely. We handle adversity as well as anybody. Um, you know, we go through this. My teammates um, were on the sideline. We always corral together, came together, made sure we hone back in and get to our basics and play ball because, you know, the game not decided, you know, on just those one plays and things like that. We got to make sure it's a team effort. And we came back together like I knew we would, and we uh, responded how, how we did second half. Thank you. Help to have a pass rusher sort of like Aziz sort of emerge and know that he can get after the quarterback pretty pretty yeah. frequently. Them young wolves that we got in the uh, room, them boys get after you, man. Uh, I'm so proud of them. I always know them boys third down, first down, no matter what down it is, they're going to get after that quarterback. Yeah, it was only a... What was the roller coaster of emotions like getting the targeting call and then having it overturned and getting the interception the next play? No, I mean, it really wasn't, you know, uh, uh, what I would call a roller coaster. Uh, you know, I'm practice, you know, hitting in the target area, no no uh, going on the helmet or leading with the helmet. It's just, you know, a football play. I didn't think for any second that I would have been thrown out. You know, I just thought it was a, you know, conscious play hitting in the, uh, hitting in the area that he's, you know, able to get hit in. When you're trying to make an instinctive play like that, is it hard to control your body? Uh, no, not really, you know. Uh, I practice, you know, you practice those situations all the time with practice. You know, just uh, learning my technique from uh, my coaches and things like that, it, it prepared me well to be able to not, you know, go up top on a, uh, on a guy, a re receiver.